When I speak to people who've installed a home energy system, one of the biggest regrets they have is not installing enough battery capacity. Well, we're about to see a system, an amazing system that is scalable from five to 180 kilowatt hours of storage. I'm here at the InterSolar trade show here in Munich. Or to give its overarching name, the Smarter E, because it now encompasses everything to do with the renewable energy revolution. And if you don't believe that revolution is happening, a visit to this show would surely change your mind. Now, the great thing about attending a show like this is you pick up trends and some of the new developments in the market. So watch out in this video for at least three things that we've learned during this show. This show is rammed with new product innovations and one of the most anticipated product launches is happening right here with the launch of the Anker Solix X1 hybrid energy storage system. Now, Anker, probably familiar to most viewers as they are the world leader in USB charging, and they've certainly kept the eFix channel online for the last few years with their portable power and reliable USB-C charging cables. However, their move now into the bigger renewable space is certainly going to be interesting because they bring a fresh perspective to it helping both the consumer side and installers. So let's go and see the innovations they've got and what design flair they can bring to this market. And this shows in the design of the product. I'll put it out there that this is probably one of the most attractive looking all-in-one home energy systems I've ever seen. Did I ever think I'd be saying that about something like this? And of course, form follows function. This pack is only 150 millimeters deep, or as I put it, about the same depth as my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Other mobile phones are available. And the design features carry on with what Anker call the starry night screen, which miraculously appears when you approach the unit. And that gives you all of the critical operating parameters of the unit, how much solar you're generating, if you're on or off grid, the state of charge of the battery. So you don't need to open up an app. Of course, you can go into the app if you want to, but just having that information at hand just lets you know your system is working and that's a subtle screen it's not it's not in your face it's not going to cause light pollution in sensitive neighborhoods and then from a distance we also have this intuitive light strip there which also gives a hint as to what's going on from a distance in the inverter and battery storage combination now one thing i really hate about solar installations is when you can see all the exposed cabling and isolators and meters and anchor have been really clever in this design all the cabling can be hidden behind these access panels on the side of the unit and inside there you'll find the connections for the arrays and the batteries and the communication network also in there are the isolators for the battery and the solar array and interestingly and installers will love this they're both lockable in the off position so great when you're working on the system so why are all these design features important if you're an installer working in the uk you'll probably be aware of the new guidance contained within pas 63 100 which the, now means the recommended place to install battery storage systems is outside of the home. So something that looks attractive and has all these great features will certainly be of benefit. What about the substance behind the design? Well, the X in the Solix X means extreme and Anker have designed this for extreme environments with temperature rating from minus 20 to plus 55 degrees Celsius and an IP65 ceiling. But the design goes beyond that because they've done extensive testing with salt water sprays and one of the few manufacturers who will guarantee the long-term performance of the unit even in coastal locations. Solar installers will probably be very aware of the effects that shading can have on solar arrays, whereby the panels in shade set the performance for the entire array, dragging down the amount of power that you can generate. And I've learned that there is a similar issue known as the barrel effect. Now, Anker have worked around that by putting some clever power electronics in each array that can monitor the performance of what's going on in here and take the whole module out of circuit if there's a problem, but also maximize the available power from each pack. Now added up in aggregate based on a 15 kilowatt storage array with three packs that equates to an additional 2000 kilowatt hours of available storage. But let's look at the build-up of the system. At the top here we have the brains behind the operation which has all of the electrical connections but also includes the solar inverter which will support array sizes up to 24 kilowatts output to the grid up to 12 kilowatts or an impressive 12 kilowatts 
to provide house power in island mode. Beneath that, we have the battery packs, each rated at five kilowatt hours, and you can have up to six battery packs for one of these power modules. Now, you probably wouldn't want to put six in one stack because the display would be so high up, you couldn't read it. So probably a better arrangement would be have three and an adjacent three modules here. But get this, in terms of these six packs, so that 30 kilowatt hours of storage, you can then parallel up six units. So in one home, you could have a massive storage capacity of 180 kilowatt hours. Now, when it comes to setup and commissioning, this system is a breeze by the Anker app. And it's a very familiar process to anybody who's installed an EV charger. You simply connect to Bluetooth, search for the system that you're installing, add in a few parameters about what you've actually installed and make sure everything's there and then that's almost it it's ready to hand over to the customer then of course the customer has access to the powerful anchor app to keep track of things like generation but also it forms the hub to a whole ecosystem and that includes obviously the power storage your solar generation and how much and where you're discharging power to. And if you're wondering, that ecosystem does include, coming soon, an EV charger, but also that missing link in the jigsaw, and that's when it comes to heat pumps. Now, one thing we've learned during this show and in the product briefing is there's a key word that's been banded around a lot here in Germany, and that's smart grid ready. Originally developed for heat pumps, it allows the heat pump to receive signals from the grid as when to generate heat and when to store heat but also you can now incorporate that into your home energy ecosystem. So we think that's a game changer and having an app that can control everything is going to be really important moving forward. The Solix X1 is an absolutely fantastic solution for larger properties. But interestingly, here in Germany, there's a massive trend towards what's known as DIY solar or balcony solar. And that's a solar kit that you plug into a power outlet. And Anker has developed this system here that can output 800 watts back into the home power system. It's got a smart meter that goes with it, but you can combine up to 9.6 kilowatt hours of storage. Now, when it comes to DIY, we're immediately worried about people connecting huge strings of solar panels. And then there is a, a limit to what this unit can take. It will take up to 2.4 kilowatts, depending upon the size of your solar panel. And so you don't have to do any complex or tricky wiring. There are four MPPT trackers down here. So you can only connect one panel to each one. So it is literally a plug and play system. Now, unfortunately, we're not allowed this technology in the UK. So I'd be interested to get your thoughts about that. And while you're on it, you might as well check out this review here, where we looked at another fantastic anchor battery pack, which is great for portable power.